Yo, what's up everybody? I am your fitness expert, Shannon All Around, and we are back at Monday. Monday, Monday, Monday. Monday in the Hard Work Dedication Series. Uh, today is Cardio Day. We do Tabata on Cardio Days, which is uh, 20 seconds hardcore cardio, 10 seconds rest, and that goes in black interval time. So yes, it's intense, it's sweaty, but it's fun. You hit it hard and you get it done and you're either in and out if you're a 30 minute person or you hit it hard, get it done and stretch it out if you're a one hour person. So um, hope you all had a great weekend. I had a good relaxing weekend, got a lot of things done. Um, my uncle actually, he's a singer. He actually sang a performance yesterday, so he did really well. So uh, it was it was a really good weekend over the weekend. So, um, but. I am looking forward to working out with everybody today. I got my Tabata workout in. You guys see me with my little knee sleeve on, my well, knee brace, flexible knee brace on. Sometimes I have on the sleeve and sometimes I have on the brace. The sleeve is more just like a compressor just to keep inflammation down. The brace, excuse me, the brace is for um, stability, stability and movement. And because today, I knew today was gonna be cardio, I, I went ahead and put the brace on so that I can have more um, stability with jumping, squatting, moving, going on one foot, you know, so, and uh, my knee has recovered very well, uh, thank God, my knee has recovered very well, so those of you that are wondering, you know, if you should work out after physical therapy, now remember, if you've done physical therapy, you should really start working out after you're done if you completed it successfully okay so those of you if you are wondering um, if you should really work on building that joint or building that muscle whatever you injured and you went to physical therapy and then after that you were done do workouts okay make sure to join a workout program and if you don't have one of course join my online program because I have tons of workouts and I have a very very good uh, virtual workout class that everybody oh people are raving about it so I'm looking forward to getting more of you guys involved in that but long story short we are at um, what is this this is our second week this is our second week of the hard work dedication series we are at Monday again so today is going to be all cardio Tabata style and I want you guys to enjoy the footage and I will be back after today is done to um, address what, how today went, everything that we talked about. Again, this is the thing, I'm trying to get everybody to talk to the camera more, but people are so shy, they're shy. I can be shy, but I'm not gonna be shy with you guys with the camera. I'm gonna talk to you guys and be very transparent. So um, if you guys have any questions make sure to dm me or send me a message and um, i will get back to you and answer your questions as much as possible so i will see you guys at the end of the workout day i am your fitness expert shannon all around i will talk to you guys later And we got burpees. Why, Jennifer? <laughs> she has she has burpees because she had roast. That's not part of her meal plan. <laughs> I lost count. Two? No. <laughs> What's up, everybody? 
everybody. I am your fitness expert, Shannon All Around, and we are at the end of our Monday Cardio Tabata Day, okay? Today was Monday of our Hard Work Dedication Series. Um, this is episode six, if I'm not mistaken. I think it is, but it is. it was Cardio Day. We did cardio all day in the lab today, um, except for my athletes. They had upper body today. But focus was on the hard work dedication people. So those people are cardio today. And we, we did a lot of Tabata, HIIT training, high intensity, high intensity interval training. So um, it was a lot of fun, a lot of sweat dripping up in here. and. Uh, some of the ladies were touching on how they are seeing the scale move now. And you know what I told them? Get your butt off the scale because you're not supposed to see the scale right now until the end of our month. So they have a whole nother two and a half weeks to work out before they should be getting on the scale with me because I will be weighing them in here and measuring them in here. So. For those of you at home, if you work out, getting on the scale every day, you know, men like to get on the scale every day, but men don't have estrogen and um, extra water weight and, you know, our female hormones flying through their bodies. They have testosterone. And so a lot of men like to get on the scale every day, and that's one thing. But I'm talking to my ladies right now. Don't get on the scale every day. You know what I do? I get on the scale once a month, once a month, okay? Unless I feel really, really different and I get on the scale. But most of the time, 99.9% .9 of the time, I, Shannon All Around, am only getting on the scale once per month. I'm not gonna hop on the scale every day. And that's something bad for you to do as well because it kills your motivation. Ladies, we have different types of bodies. Our bodies don't have testosterone, well, high levels of testosterone in it. We have higher levels of estrogen. So that means you're going to have water weight certain days. You have, a, you have a period certain days. Some of my ladies who still have periods, you have a, I have periods. You have a period to deal with, you know, your menstrual cycle to deal with, water weight to deal with. Cer certain days your scale may be up, certain days your scale may be down. So. Throughout an entire month, it's not really great for your motivation and for your psyche to get on a scale every single day, ladies. So I'm gonna tell you, don't do it. From a professional, I am a fitness expert. I'm a professional at this. I've been doing this for years, and I am not just successful just from, <coughs> excuse me, training one person. I've trained many, many types of people over the years, and I found that the success rate is better when you don't get on the scale every day, okay? So that's something that you have to focus on doing. So that was a big thing that we were talking about here in the lab today. Um, I had to give burpees out to two of my ladies today for eating wrong. Well, one lady, she ate wrong, one young lady, and the other young lady skipped two meals. And so they had to do their burpees to make up for that. So. You know, they have penalties in here. So sometimes you may see somebody doing some burpees and hey, it just is what it is. If you do something that causes you to get a burpee, you have to have accountability. This is an accountability place. I am your accountability partner, okay? So I'm gonna make sure that you're not eating crappy, you're not skipping meals, cause that's gonna shut down your metabolism as well. And you're um, logging your meals. So, so here, we log our meals here. So, you know, ladies and gentlemen, if you're really looking to get yourself toned up and in shape, you gotta start keeping track of your meals. You gotta start seeing what's going in your body and what you're, you know, everything that you're taking in, you gotta write that down so you can be mindful of it. Oh, wow, I drank a soda yesterday. Oh man, I had a shot of liquor yesterday. That's why I'm feeling heavy. That's why when I got on the scale, I was up two pounds. Yes, liquor can put on pounds, but it's accountability. The point that I'm making here is that the ASF warriors who come to my gym are required to log their meals and be accountable. They're required to be accountable when they're a part of my program. And that's something that you guys are gonna see 
all the time, okay? So we had some great times in here today, some funny times, had some funny comments. I'm still trying to get the ladies to talk to the camera more, but it looks like I'm gonna be the one talking to you guys more often. If I get the ladies to say some things to the camera, thank you, you know, it would be great. But if not, I'm gonna be talking to you guys. So make sure you go ahead and message me if you have any questions about the episode and uh, or questions about the workouts we were doing, um, asking what what's the benefit of exercise of the exercises that you saw us do today. And uh, other than that, that is pretty much it. Um, it's time to go home. It's time to walk my little puppy Vegas, who's laying right there waiting on me to be done talking to you guys. So that is it. I am your fitness expert, Shannon All Around, and tomorrow is Arm Day, so we gotta get we gotta get prepared to bring those guns out, all right, and pump those guns. So all right, you guys, we got cardio done, got cardio out of the way, and I will have I'm, I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow, and I want you all to have a wonderful night. I am your fitness expert, Shannon All Around.